Just got our blue apron package. Just wanted to show you guys what we got, how it comes, and how much stuff comes inside. As you can see here, the box is actually really big. Um, it was actually delivered by not any known carrier, nothing like UPS or USPS. It was delivered by some random guy in a van. So uh, let's take a look what we got inside. This thing is really cold, guys. So we actually ordered three things for the week. So we came some information from the farm, a little bit of detail. Let's see what else it came with. Uh, one of the recipes that we did get was the summer vegetables with the quinoa bowl. I like how they actually emphasize on all the ingredients here, how it should look. Oh, and here we have the cooking direction. That's pretty cool. Cool. Let's see what else we got here. Spicy pepperonata pasta. That's cool too. So that's nice. For everything that you order, they actually bring uh, nice printed out instructions and details of all the, uh, the different stuff that goes inside and the instructions to make the meal. What else did we get? Couscous stub zucchini. Stuff looks pretty good as of right now. I like the packaging. I like how this thing is really cold. So I actually totally did open this a little bit ago and uh, it comes actually sealed. But uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Whoa! That is really heavy. So this is how it comes all packaged up. Got all these different veggies. Let's take things out little by little. What do we got here? We have arugula. We got these uh, zucchinis. Zucchini. I just want to I just want to show you guys how big this bag is. So it's like a thermal temperature bag that really lets you uh, hold in that temperature because I guess the guy has some sort of special van. Got a little parsley. Nicely packaged. A little bit of mint. What else we got here? Green beans. A little thing of green beans. Everything looks pretty clean and nothing looks nasty. Nice little uh, eggplant, young purple eggplant. I don't really know. I don't really know what everything goes, but it looks, looks pretty good. Another eggplant. Let's see here. <clears throat> Big cucumber. Looks nice and fresh. I know my produce, and these produce are definitely pretty fresh. A big bag of peppers. Shishito peppers. Cool. Now, this is, by the way, uh, so uh, my wife and I got three meals on this one. And that is supposed to come recurring every Monday. These are some peppers, some regular multicolored. Tinkerbell peppers. I love it. They really do a good job closing it all up. It's got a little uh, crumbled goat cheese. Looks pretty good. Look how much stuff we're laying out. I'm going to show you an overall view of everything. Maybe even divided by the recipe. What do we got here? Couscous. Contains wheat. Nice packaging. I like how everything has the uh, blue apron logo on it. What else we got here? We got a lemon. We got... Whoa, we got that red quinoa right there. And... A thing of garlic. That's what that quinoa looks like. If you guys don't know about quinoa, make sure you check it out. I love quinoa. Very healthy for you, too. I think this is a squash. I'm not sure. Is this a squash? Summer yellow squash. Su yellow summer squash. I'll tell everything looks nice and firm and fresh. I mean, I was hoping to expect that from this, but this is awesome. Really beautiful piece of corn. <laughs> really really clean, I'll tell you. 
You got to you want me to move this? All right. Making room. We're going to show you guys everything how it all lays out. We got some uh This is some uh pasta. Cool. Uh prosciutto. All right. What do we got here? This is spicy peppernata kicknacks. I don't know what that is, but it feels like there's some sort of dressing inside and something else. I can't believe how much they stuff in this bag. Stuffed zucchini, knickknacks, and quinoa ball knickknacks. We got a little bit of, uh, one tomato looks pretty ugly, but overall, multicolor cherry tomatoes, not too bad, not too bad. Great recipes compared to incredible ingredients, cool, okay, is, I think that's it. And what is this? Is this, okay, so there's like two huge things of just ice. Alright, so I guess you just throw that out. I hope it's okay just to kind of throw out. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Why are you separating it so far apart? Well, because I was going to lay them out. So this is what it looks like, guys. I mean, um, we haven't tried this yet, but uh, I'm definitely really excited just to see how it all works out. Hey, also, if you don't know what to do with your box, you can always put your cat in it. Hi. <laughs> um, so again, check out the vegetables that we got. Check out all this beautiful stuff. I might even, you know, you know what I'm going to do in this same exact video? I'm going to include us making all three things in the video so if you haven't clicked out yet and you're still watching it stay tuned we're gonna cook this whole thing we're gonna cook this whole thing in this same video and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how it all turns out obviously some of the negatives that I received some of the negative things I received oh that was in the bag these are the knickknacks knickknacks I love it. Some so beautiful, like beautiful raisins. raisins. And, the and, the and we got a little pistachio, yeah. That looks awesome. So, um, again, some of the negative reviews that I've heard from other people that have tried Blue Apron is, um, is just the prep part. You know, people buy food and it kind of, uh, you know, it comes in a box and so forth. So people kind of... They, they, they automatically think that it's going to be really easy to prepare and it's going to be super quick. But I think this actually just makes it very easy in a sense of shopping. You know, you have, have you ever asked your wife or have you ever asked your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, what's for dinner? Because the, the, the initial part of making dinner is first figuring out what is for dinner. In this case, you've actually already, you already know what's for dinner. And you already have all your ingredients. So you don't have to go to the supermarket, pick your stuff. What do we got here? Rice vinegar? Yeah. Like cool. Ginger. Cool. And what else do we have here? Miso Sweet paste. Miso paste. And a huge, beautiful piece of ginger, actually. I wish they actually made some of the... I, I would actually pay a little extra if it was organic. Look these. I got pine nuts, capers, pine nuts butter. Are, pine nuts are expensive. I hope they're a decent quality, I'll tell you that. And you got the Cento tomato paste. Nice. So, what is this, capers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> capers and some Parmesan cheese. So again, um, in the same video, please don't click out just yet. Make sure uh, you continue watching. We're gonna cook all three of these this in, this, in this entire week in this one video. And we're gonna show you how it uh, how it tastes and how long it takes to prep. But I mean, if you guys already make dinner, I think basically the simplicity of Blue Apron is that they allow you to 
not think too much as what's for dinner because you already know what's for dinner and they they reduce the time that it takes to go to the supermarket and grab your vegetables though they don't have any organic choices but they you know it is what it is for the price also I mean I'll tell you you can't beat the price for two people okay for eating three meals I'm gonna see how I mean these are the basic ingredients that you're going to get if you go to the supermarket. You're going to pay a lot more than what they're offering and you have to think about it. You have to drive. You have to pick it up and so forth. But overall, from what I'm seeing right now, I have to give it a thumbs up. So uh, stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly what we're cooking. All these three meals right now. What are we making today? What are we making today? That summer vegetable quinoa bowl. All right, sounds good. We got the cucumbers. Gotta make sure your pot's boiling for that quinoa. Like it's ginger. Gotta make sure you slice up that ginger for that quinoa salad. Dice it up and smash it up. Put all the quinoa in the bowl. Sweet. Look at that flame. That looks so cool. There's no flame there. Cut that pepper up. Cut down that corn. Slice up that eggplant. Yes, take off the stems, cut the beans. Go ahead and put your ginger, your miso paste, and your ta two tablespoons of vinegar. Half the ginger. Half the ginger. And then you smash it all around. You take that concoction right there, and you place it all over the cucumbers with a little bit of salt and pepper, and you let that marinate. Take the quinoa off of the... Uh, off of the uh, stove. You want to go ahead and put your eggplant, your, your string beans, and uh, you want to just toss that around in the pan. Also, we just went ahead and pre cooked those peppers with a little bit of pepper on top. Now you got to go ahead and add the corn in there. Look at those beautiful and colors and that ginger, the remainder of that ginger concoction that we created. No, not the concoction, just regular ginger. I like how that purple matches that purple. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> it's the regular ginger. Go ahead and add that quinoa right over the vegetables. Take it off the oven, put some of the peppers on the side, put a little bit of that cucumber salad. Let me tell you how, how it tastes. Here's my first bite. Here we go. Mm. It's interesting. The vegetables, everything actually does taste really fresh. Um, quinoa bowl. I'm going to have to give it an A. Not an A minus, but an A, but not an A plus. Um, pretty easy to make. Actually flavorful. Colorful. Nice texture. Everything tastes really fresh. That's what I like about it. And um, it's not bland. It actually tastes really good. Really, really good. Let's go to the next one. The next meal we're going to try is this. This is going to be the uh, spicy pepperonata pasta. That looks so good. Let's see if we can make that picture look like our meal. Look at all the fun stuff that comes in it. 
What do we got preparing there? We got the tomatoes getting sliced up and the pepper. Go ahead and boil your water for that pasta. Go ahead and chop up that parsley. Make sure you go ahead and slice up your garlic. Go ahead and toast those pine nuts. Go ahead and place your pasta in the boiling pot. Go ahead and drop the peppers into the pan. Go ahead and toss the garlic and the capers on top. And also the red pepper flakes. Put the tomato paste right on the pot. Add a little bit of water. Stir the pasta around. Go ahead and add the tomatoes as the sauce thickens up. Add the pasta to the pan. Throw in the piece of butter that came with it. Keep it on the pan for a few minutes. Let it get nice and soft, as well as allow the sauces to evaporate right into the pasta. And there you go, that's what the final product looks like. The presentation is wonderful, the smell is awesome. Let me give you the final uh, taste test. I like a little bit more cheese on mine. All right, let's go in for that for that taste test. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Mmm. Again, taste super super fresh. How do they do it? Another awesome meal, day two of Blue Apron. What an awesome meal. I can't wait for the third one. This is too good. This is really too good. Let's stay tuned for the next one, guys. So we just made the couscous stuffed zucchini and it literally comes out looking like this. And let me tell you guys, it's so delicious. Just take a look. So it doesn't look like this as of right now because I already ate one. But uh, the ingredients were really fresh. I love the way that the uh, the actual the squash tasted with the zucchini and the couscous and the nuts and the raisins. It was awesome. So take a look at that. This is how they come out. They're like kind of like they're like little boats, and with the stuff stuffed inside of it. Basically, that's the uh, that's the couscous, and uh, kind of on the bottom of it would be the zucchini chopped up with the raisins. And the um, the raisins and everything else, um, the pistachios. So th it looks wonderful, and it truly did taste amazing. So sorry that I didn't get to show you guys how we actually prepared this one, but I wanted to show you the um, the final uh, the final uh, phase of it as we uh, as we just took it down. It was awesome. Again, I gotta give it a thumbs up for all three different ingredients that we had. Uh, three different courses they were super good and I would definitely recommend Blue Apron if you guys want um, quality meals at a great price alright enjoy the video guys give it a thumbs up